First up, we have is Representative Wesley Harris, who is running for treasurer. Representative Harris grew up in Taylorsville, North Carolina. He earned his bachelor's degree in economics from UNC Chapel Hill, go Hills, and his PhD from Clemson. He taught economics for a few years before becoming a consultant. He won election to the North Carolina House in 2018 and continues to serve. He is running for treasurer because he believes we deserve a leader in the treasurer's office who believes that our greatest resource is our people. As Treasurer Representative Harris will make sound investments that keep North Carolina on strong financial ground. He also worked to increase our capacity to provide good health care and great retirements to state employees and smart infrastructure for all of us. Please welcome Representative Wesley Harris. All right. Thank you all. Good afternoon, Scenic. How are you all doing today? It is, uh, it, it is so incredible to be here, and I, I want to begin with just thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for, for y'all's support of me and, and this race for this election this year. It is a huge election this year, and having y'all's support is, it was critical to get us through the primary, and it is going to be even more critical to make sure we get through the general election and we get someone to follow into Dale Falwell's footsteps into the treasurer's office to make sure that we respect and we invest in the most important asset this state has, not only our people, but our state employees. Um, because, thank you. And so, like, like they said when they introduced me, I, uh, I live in Charlotte now. I represent a district in, in South Charlotte in General Assembly. And so I've been in the legislature for about three terms now. This is my six years. And so I've seen kind of firsthand the financial choices we've made, shortchanging our state employees, shortchanging the people that devote their lives and careers to the people of North Carolina. It doesn't matter what policy you pass if you don't have great people who are willing and able to work for our government. And so everything I am today is because of the people in this room. Because I live in Charlotte now, but I grew up in rural North Carolina. And we didn't have a lot going for us. But I was blessed in so many ways, namely in the fact that I had a state that invested in me. And I had a state that invested in state employees so that I had a great teacher. I had great services provided for me so that I could have every single opportunity and every door open to me. And that's my commitment as we go into this treasurer's office to make sure that we do invest in our state employees. Because we have one of the best funded pension plans in the entire country. But unfortunately, it's also been one of the worst performing pension funds. And so we can make it so that we can improve our performance, give our state employees a cost of living to make sure that we can still maintain to recruit the best and brightest to come and devote their lives and devote their careers to the people of North Carolina. And if we're able to do that, we can also help make the state health plan much more solvent. Because one of the biggest problems that we have is aside from the price, price gouging from our hospitals and our pharmaceuticals that we have to continue to stand up for, when you have a 25% vacancy rate in state employment in North Carolina, that's a huge risk pool that's coming in of we're getting younger folks who are not coming to work for the state, are not buying into the system for 30, 40 years, and that means that our entire risk pool is getting older and it's getting sicker. So if we really want to get serious about lowering health care costs, we have to start with making sure that we have competitive compensation, we have fair compensation, and we get more people coming in because that is what's at stake this election. It's making sure that we have a government that works for everybody. And the only way we can have a government that works for everybody is making sure that we invest in our people and making sure that we invest in our state employees. So it is, it is absolutely critical what's coming, what's coming down the pipe this year. And so I, I wanna thank you all again so much for your support. Actually, just this week, uh, we found out that we were endorsed by the Police Benevolent Association and the Professional Firefighters and Paramedics Association to go along with not only the scenic endorsement, but with the North Carolina Association of, Edu Association of Educators. So we're actually going to be the first treasurer's campaign since 2008 with every single one of those endorsements. So basically every single person that depends on the pension plan, that depends on the health plan, every organization that represents those folks have endorsed this campaign. And so if we are able to get the vote out and get the message out that, listen, if you depend on the pension plan, if you depend on the health plan, you need to vote for Wesley Harris. You need Wesley Harris in the treasurer's office. Not only will we win this election, we will make sure that we have a treasurer that is going to stand up to the General Assembly 
make sure that we get the raises that we need, stand up to the hospitals, stand up to the pharmaceutical companies, and make sure that y'all get the returns you need for your pension plan, the retirement you deserve, the health care you reserve, because y'all have given everything to the people of North Carolina. Y'all fulfilled y'all's side of the bargain. It's time for us to do the same. So thank y'all so much. I really do appreciate it, and thank y'all so much for your support.